I want to talk a little bit about one of my very favorite new-ish features in Camera Raw. Um, I did look, and this came out, I think, this past October, so it hasn't been out very long. Um, <clears throat> I use the Creative Cloud, and I have Camera Raw version 14.2. 14 um, so if you can see the this image, she is just a little bit too dark. Um, I this is pretty late in the evening. We were losing daylight pretty fast, and I wanted to get this background, <clears throat> but I knew um, I just I guess I I always expose for my subject. Um, but for some reason, she's still just too dark. Um, I guess had I exposed for my subject, we, I, this, I would still be making this video, but it would be, I would just be bringing back detail in the background versus lightening my subject. Um, <clears throat> so if you look over here, um, this is your adjustment panel, um, edit panel, edit adjustments. <laughs> If you, below it is uh, the crop. This is spot removal. The one below that is your masking panel. So if you select that, um, these are your mask options. And what masking is, is it's like selecting a part of the image that you wanna edit. And it's like only allowing you to edit part of your image. So. These two right here are the ones that are that are new, relatively new. I say new. I mean they've been out for a while, but six months. I'm gonna for this one because I want to bring back a little bit of detail in her dress and obviously her face. I'm gonna use the select subject now. Sometimes I will just do brush and I'll just like lighten the face a little bit. But I want to show you this one because this is like so magical to me. So click on this. And you can see now that she is selected, even down to the hairs up here. I can't even tell you how much work this would take before this feature came out. Like, it's incredible to me. The line. Um yeah so now that we have our subject selected um <clears throat> can go over here and you can see the mask one adjustment panel and so these are all the adjustments you can do um but the, the obviously i want to lighten her up and i think i'm gonna go around 50 for her and i'm gonna bring up my contrast just a little because I found that if you raise the exposure um a lot of times you will end up losing contrast so and I mean I guess you could could play around with these a little bit um another way that I use this feature is um for sharpening but I use the brush I, I really am wanting to talk about the um the subject selection because that <laughs> I just think that is so fantastic um, and you can even make a preset and I was like why would you want to do a preset well if you are doing batch editing and you um, are syncing your edits this one does not sync so that's where the um, preset comes in handy um, <clears throat> so, yeah, um, pretty incredible. So we'll toggle that off and back on, and you can see. I could bring back some details of her dress. I just don't want to do that. Um, I don't like the way that looks. I've already tested it out. Um, but yeah, so there she is. And actually, I'm going to pop back over here, and I'm going to lower my overall exposure just a little. And then I'm gonna pop back to the mask, select my mask, and I'm gonna raise her up a little bit more. 
So um, you can see I I bringing back a little bit of that detail. And to me, this just looks like a painting back here. I mean, she looks like a painting too, but so, yeah, I think a lot of people don't know about this feature. I still see some pretty, pretty bad ghosting. Um, that is, I, I, I would say that's my top pet peeve. Um, whenever I look at people's edits, I don't have very many, I think, obvious vignettes and ghosting. Ghosting as in you have selected something and raised the exposure on it and have left your feather too high or have done a sloppy job with um, selection. Uh, that's, I don't know. That's unnecessary information, but I think... Um, And maybe nobody notices that sort of thing <laughs> but me. <laughs> what is your pet peeve as a either photographer or in the editing process? Um, what is your pet peeve? Um, I, I don't critique people's photos because I've been using Photoshop for, you know, so long. But there are certain things like that because I that to me is just like I don't know what I'm saying art is so um, personal and so I think it's beautiful all types of photography is just beautiful to me but that's just a technical thing that is super simple to fix um yeah, so, but with this new tool in Camera Raw, it's like, good grief, so powerful. And even the sky one, I don't use that one very often because I don't like to shoot up into the sky. I don't know. I don't know. That's weird. I do have the sky, and actually, I do have some sky presets because I have um, fixed a couple skies. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That's my goat sky preset. <laughs> um. Control Z, Control Z, everything. <laughs> um, but yeah, so if you didn't know, now you know. You can select your subject here, or you can select your sky. And if you don't know about this masking panel, you can do all sorts of stuff in here. It's like amazing and magical, just like anything else in Photoshop, honestly. But this is one of my favorite, favorite new features to to play with. Even if it's just like a tiny, tiny bit, you just want to like raise or lower your subject exposure on your subject. And I've actually used the, um, the sharpness too. Um, but anyway, just continuing to talk about nonsense. I could talk about this all day long. Um, anyway, I hope I have, um, entertained you or educated you in some way. So goodbye. Have a good day.